My Secret Garden by Jackie Gabrielle Chapter 12 The Getaway Seven thirty in the morning found Jay and Jean parked in front of the community dental health clinic. Jean wanted to get away for the weekend, but her tooth had other ideas. So here they were, waiting alongside a Hispanic woman who was holding the right side of her face. The workers at the clinic had not arrived yet. At eight o'clock, the two patients were allowed in. Jay walked around the parking lot, looking for plants to sample for her plant incubation table in her greenhouse. She spotted an osprey that had a huge nest atop one of the parking light fixtures. Ah, she thought, the sights of Florida. Her phone rang. Good morning, she answered. Hi, beautiful. How are you and Jean doing? said the voice on the other end. Angela, said Jay. We're at the dentist. Jean is getting her tooth taken out. How about coming up here and visiting me for a couple of days? That sounds great. We both need to get away. Great! Joe has gone to Mount Dora to help a couple we know with their kitchen cabinets. Okay, we'll come up as soon as the dentist finishes with Jean. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, ended Jay as she hung up her phone. Angela and Joe were mutual friends of Jay and Jean. Angela ran a thrift shop in DeLand, next to vintage clothing boutiques, bead bars, coffee shops, and bookstores. Joe, short for Joanne, was a carpenter. Joe built everything from kitchen cabinets and dog houses to dry sink stands and bird houses. Angela often called them to come and keep her company when Joe had to go out of town. It was nice to have friends who could invite you to stay at their house for a couple of days especially when those friends were people who understood about their passion for the advocation of medical marijuana. Jean came out of the dentist's office teary-eyed. The bad tooth was gone, though, and all would soon be well. Jean brightened after Jay informed her of the invitation to Angela's. It was a bit of a drive, and one that was well worth the effort. The couple raced home and packed their bags. They were on the road in less than an hour headed north to DeLand. An hour and fifteen minutes later, the couple was winding down a narrow dirt driveway past tall pine trees and magnolia trees in bloom. A sign in the front yard welcomed them to Wonderland. The yard was sprinkled with birdhouses, dream catchers, and wind chimes and various yard art. There was a Buddha, fishing boy, flamingo, and a duck indicating places to park. Jean parked in front of the Buddha. You all come on in, came a voice from the screen veranda. You're just in time for tea. It was Angela. She had prepared some herb tea, homemade bread, and a fruit tray. She was the most gracious host. It was always relaxing to stay with her. The women stashed their bags in the guest room and joined Angela on the porch. Well, said Angela, hugging them both, how was your drive? Not bad, replied Jean. We only got lost once. But the scenery more than made up for it, added Jay. The group sat around and chatted the evening away. They sipped tea and munched on the fruit and warm bread until the frogs came out. Around nine o'clock, all headed to their beds. Thanks so much for asking us out, said Jay. Yes, agreed Jean. We really needed to get out of town. No worries. I always think of you two when Joe has to go to work. Living out here in nature is scary without a dog, Angela told them. Still no luck talking to Joe about getting a dog, Jean inquired. Not yet. I'm working on her, though, she explained. We actually went into a pet shop last week. <laughs> Good luck, said Jay, hugging Angela. Sweet dreams. As Jay and Jean put their belongings away and made up the bed, Jay asked, You know what I like about your tongue? Jean was taken aback. Uh, no, what? Jay took Jean in her arms. The way it pulls my bottom lip into your mouth when you kiss me. Oh, responded Jean. Like this? Jean pulled Jay close and kissed her slowly, gently. She slipped her hand into Jay's pajama bottoms and caressed her warm, dark places. The two became a tangle of arms and legs and tongues, dancing in the bed to the sound of frogs and wind chimes, tinkling ever so gently in the evening breeze.
They drifted off to sleep in each other's arms with smiles on their faces and warm feelings in their hearts. To be continued.